Hey, everybody. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> Happy Think Dog, it's Friday. I know. Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> so uh, if you are new around here, I'm Hillary, and I'm here with Patty. Hello, everybody. We're the co-founders of Hound Hugger DIY, and we normally get together every Friday to do some kind of fun crafts or snuffle toys, something in honor of our love of dogs. And this one is slightly different because I had some uh, dog hair everywhere uh, ever <laughs> since the summer, and I finally made a purchase. Um, so we're going to give you my thoughts and feelings on this particular purchase. Um, you can check out if you're interested in our crafts or our uh, snuffle toys. There's some links in the description, so you can check those out. Um, you can join up to our newsletter. You'll get to see all of our crafts and everything that we've got going on. But we also have our Snuffle Toy Club right now. Mm -hmm. The doors yeah. are open for it until the 15th of this month. So um, you can sign up. You get all the parts and pieces that you need to make custom DIY Snuffle Toys. And they're so snuffle, adorable. Yeah, our Snuffle Toys are some of our, like, our fan favorites. So <laughs> we highly recommend you can just uh, check out the snuffletoyclub.com. You can check out that link if you're interested. And um, if you know anybody that might be interested, it helps yeah. us a ton if you spread the word about that sort of stuff. But exactly. today I am uh, reviewing one of my Amazon purchases. So um, ever since the summer, and Hazel turned one in the summer. And so I was thinking before that point, Hazel is my basset hound. Um, oh my goodness, we are getting away scot-free with this basset hound does not shed as much as our previous two basset hounds. Uh, no, that wasn't, <laughs> I was thinking on my part. It, as soon as the summer hit, it was just hair everywhere. And yeah. um, so I'm going to share a few of the tools that I have used um, in the past. Okay. And I've noticed um, even from Basset Hound to Basset Hound, like their fur is slightly different. There's there's tools that will work for some dogs that, that work better for one that don't work for another, that sort of thing. So, and I have a link in the description as well to an article that we did that has a bunch of like trying to keep your home for free we have yeah. some links on there um and some ideas for that and some of these products are linked on there as well but one of the things that worked really well for hazel are these grooming gloves so they have okay. these little rubbery nubs on the inside of the glove yeah. and this worked really well but you have to do it outside because they it get goes filled everywhere up with hair you yeah. have to like knock them together to shake it off and then it's just hair everywhere and you're sort of in a cloud of the hair so you're trying <laughs> to get her back out of the hair so it's not all just falling right back on her again i live in south dakota it's windy about meh, 80 to 90 percent of the time so it's just a cyclone of dog hair um, <laughs> when you're trying to do it and obviously the weather is sort of yeah. hot or cold or whatever it's nice to be able right. to have something that you could do inside but yeah as far as like actually taking the hair off for hazel's coat these gloves worked the best at for like a manual um, okay grooming tool so i do highly recommend them they're very inexpensive there's a bunch of different types on amazon that you can find as well but um downside you have to do it outside and yeah there can you do it on us can you use this on a smaller dog like gingers doesn't shed a whole lot but you know the the gloves look pretty big like would they could you use yeah, them on so I definitely too? use them on Hank. I've used them on Leon. Okay. It worked a little better on Leon. So Leon and Hank are my wiener dogs. Um, it really depends on the texture of their okay. hair. So okay. what's going to work or what's not. And so for these, they worked better for Leon than they did for Hank. I think okay. it's just like the, okay. the Do you think like fluffier or, dogs or whatever it works yeah. better on? Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, I have this de-shedding tool. This um, worked great for both Leon, Hank, and Lulu. This was probably the best tool for Lulu. Um, again, you kind of got to do it outside. It does yeah. make a mess. And you're working with 
you know, you get this comb filled up, right. you're working with pretty small amounts. So it yeah. takes a while to get through. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then I also have this rubber brush. Um, this one, I'm, it has never been particularly great for me on any of my dogs, but I like the idea. And what it is nice for is after you're done, if you've done it inside, it's nice to be able to like oh, use this yeah. to kind of Clean round up. up the hair that, yeah. that you yeah. have. So that's probably my most useful for this, at least for my dogs. Every dog's going to be different, but yeah. The one that we're actually jumping into that I finally bit the bullet, um, it was during Amazon Prime Days, and it was a deal of the day. So I got this. It's called the Nikasa. I don't know for sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but the Nikasa uh, P2 Pro Pet Grooming Kit. And so... Okay. It looks like it's, you could be a professional dog groomer now. <laughs> <laughs> like that's super, like you're going the full, full all out, right? That's amazing. Well, and the thing, so for me, the thing that was most important was just having the vacuum part the vacuum, of this. Yeah. So yeah. you add your attachments to the vacuum tube okay. and then turn on the vacuum. It, it okay. has, so these are a few of the points for me. I was looking for one that was going to be quiet. So there are yeah, quite a few my, different versions of this. My first question is, is was, oh, is she scared of it? Like was Hazel yes. scared of it? So. so I found the quietest one that I could find. And this one goes okay. from 52 decibels to 75 decibels. So it's pretty quiet. I'll turn it on here in a second. And I also have some video of me using it on Hazel. You're okay. going to hear it. It's going to sound a little louder because my mic is going to pick it up. Yeah. It's also quieter if you have one of the tools connected. Um, okay, so if it's right. just the hose, it sounds a little bit louder. But it has like an eco mode, a standard mode, and then a boost mode. And so okay. this is what it sounds like. So that's on the lowest setting. Okay. That's standard. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, sounds like an airplane taking off. <laughs> right. That sounds louder than in all reality it is in real life because my yeah, mic yeah. is picking it up. Yeah, but, super sensitive. Um, yeah. So that was my biggest concern was, is Hazel mm -hmm. going to be scared of this? She's a little bit skittish about things. And yeah. I was really worried that she would be scared. And so that's why I went right. with, there's the P2. So this is the second version. There's a original version of this that has a little smaller canister. It's a little okay. different format and okay. it's slightly louder. Um, and I went with this one because it was quieter. And I will show you the video here of me using it on Hazel. So you okay. can get an idea. Yeah. So here's the actual kit. There you can hear. Yeah. And she runs for this every time we turn it on. She loves it. So really, she is not scared of this one bit. She comes over. She knows that she's going to get brushed. She oh. loves it. So she just comes over. That's as awesome. As soon as she hears it turn on, she is. So I think in all honesty, I probably could have gone with the version yeah, one the, or two yeah. and it would have worked just fine for her. Okay. I probably would have gone the same route though. I would have picked the quieter one good just because you just don't know what your dog's yep. gonna how your dog's gonna react, but it's good to know. So and then for me the best part about this is obviously having it all of it sucked up yes. right into that vacuum canister. It reminds right. me of uh, the old school, like as seen on TV, Floby. The yes, <laughs> it's yes. the same idea there. Yeah. Um, and so for me, the best tools on this particular kit, the ones that I use, are the de shedding tool. Okay. So 
here's the and that's just like a comb with the vacuum part right yeah. like it combs up the hair and, and then sucks it in as you're combing. so it has this button on the back that'll push the hair so that the okay. vacuum can suck it in so okay. you make a few passes get it filled with hair then push that button and it sucks the hair down and then you okay. can keep on vacuuming keep going. which is okay cool awesome so yeah. this is by far my most used tool on this mm -hmm. kit um i thought it was going to be this which is a brush yeah which is just kind of a more traditional brush it has the right. Uh, button as well so that you push right. that hair up and it sucks into the vacuum okay but this one does not really it just really depends on the coat for your dog so i think right. a fluffier dog this would work great and a larger dog had, yeah or if you have cats like persian cats oh, things like that these yeah. this one would be a great tool for them as well so okay. this one i thought was going to be the one i'd use the most didn't end up being it it's the v shedding tool for me okay and then these are just a nice to have a vacuum mm -hmm. because you will have some hair that kind of right. fluffs around or whatever. Right. It's nice just to be able to vacuum that up right there, which is yep. awesome. And then you have clippers and it comes with a bunch of different guards. I've never used this. Um, I do take our dogs to the groomer, so I don't mm -hmm. tend to do any of the clipping. But yeah. if you did, this would be a nice to have for sure. Right, right. And then this one is more of a like a cleaning tool. So it's like a garment or your upholstery you could oh. use to try to like okay. get the De hair shed, off of. Get all the, yeah, get yeah. all the hair off your furniture. I haven't used Curtain. this either. For one thing, it, the format of this, you're going to have to move this entire thing because it's, right. it's plugged in. So right. if you were trying to get your couch or something like that, it's not, it's a little bit more cumbersome than let's yeah. say just a cordless vacuum. back or something yeah. like that that you could do. Right. So right. not not particularly useful for me um, on that one. But the things I, I love that it feels really sturdy, well-made. Mm -hmm. It's got a HEPA filter and then it has an extra filter that comes okay. with it. And then it's just one click to yeah. empty it, which is nice. Yes. That is nice. And um, you can hear that nice click. All of the, like all of the attachments feel really nice and sturdy when you click them in. So they have, okay, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it, it feels well made. It feels like it's going to last. Right. And right. so far as pros and cons for me, the fact that it was solving this hair problem and that I could do it any time of year is huge. Yeah. She sheds all, all year round and sometimes right, it's right. pretty inclement to right. you know, have to do it out in the middle of winter or when it's really super right. hot in the summer and stuff. Um, right. So the pros for me that it was solving that particular problem and that she wasn't scared of it. So those, mm -hmm. my two biggest concerns were, is it going to work? And is she going to be scared of it? And mm -hmm. she loves it. She is not scared <laughs> of it one bit. Um, so the sort of upside downside, I got it during prime days. So I got almost $70 off because it was a deal of the day. Right. That was awesome because it is an investment. It is pretty expensive to get. Yeah. Now the version one, the so this is the P2. There is a yeah. P1 so that you you could go that route. It's a little bit less expensive. But um, I've heard there's rumor that Amazon's going to be doing another Prime Days um, mm. in October. So okay. if you were thinking about something like this, I would definitely yeah. keep an eye out because they had such a good sale on it. The first Prime Days, they may mm -hmm. again, or something like Black Friday would right. be another good one. Right. The other thing, so that's just my personal, like if I was paying full price, because I only use like three of the tools mm -hmm. for me, I really want it on at a bargain price. Right. Now, right. if you're somebody that has, you know, multiple dogs with multiple mm -hmm. different coats and you were going to use all of these tools, the clippers and the regular brush tool, I do think it's worth the price. 
if you can use all the different um, right. attachments right. and things. So right. that's just something to kind of keep in mind and weigh those pros and cons if you want right. to. But really, that has been so I've been using it for a little over a month now. That's been price is really the only downside. And I do kind of wish it's pretty large. So it takes yeah. up a fair amount of space. This is a personal thing for me. I don't have a ton of storage in my house. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like having somewhere to store it, right. that, that may be an issue for you. Those were really the only, like as far as functionality, it works great. Um, I Quality been, is great. Yeah, um, I haven't been concerned too. that something's going to break or I'm not going to be able to like, you yeah. know, when sometimes when you're clicking things in, vacuum pieces and things like that, you right. can kind of feel like, oh, this has got a shelf life. These feel yeah. nice and sturdy, which is great. Um, okay, good. And the fact that Hazel isn't afraid of it one bit, it does have those those different uh, suction modes that you can mm -hmm. use. It does make it faster. So I started for the probably the first couple weeks, I was using the eco mode, mm -hmm. which slowly- um, The softest, sucks. quietest, yeah. yeah. And it takes a little bit longer. So okay. it, I've only moved right. up to standard mode. I haven't ever moved into the kind of boost mode. Um, the other thing, I've never had an issue because of the way Hazel's hair is. Um, I've never had an issue with it filling up the canister at all. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it sucks it down pretty good. But if you had, you know, like... A husky think, or a... Yes, yeah. Some yeah. different types of dogs. I could see where this large canister would be the one that you want to go with versus the version one, because yeah. that canister is just a little bit larger. You're going to be able to get more grooming right. done before right. you have to go and empty right. it and stuff. So, right. But yeah, overall, it's, I feel like it solved a problem for me, which was mm -hmm. fantastic um, investment, as I said, but if you're looking for other kind of fur removal items, we do have a whole article full of those that have a bunch of different price points, a diff bunch of different ideas in there. So you can check out that article is linked in the description. There's also a link in the description for this, the Nikasa grooming kit. Um, so you can check that out. and. It's Amazon. So once you put this one, once you start looking at this one, you can see version one of it too and kind of compare and contrast and see which one might work best for you. Um, and then, yeah, I would love to hear if you guys want to share with us some of the things that you've used that have worked really well. I, um, I, this is the first type of, uh, kit that I've used like this and I was impressed and I'm curious like are you are your dog scared of it have you tried something like this what's right. been your experiences what's worked well and what hasn't because I think it's really helpful and sometimes you have to go through some things like I said I have all these different tools that right. work well for one dog that didn't for another and so right. like it's just nice to be able to share some of these ideas because Absolutely. That dog yeah. care situation can really. <laughs> kind yeah. Of I think my toughest me. challenge is getting stuff into like knits and things yes. where the hair just doesn't come out. And one of the things I like about having a vacuum specific for the, for the dogs, the de shutter tool and everything is you're kind of preventing yep. all of that hair from getting into places that are really hard to clean um, so, so that's, it's, it's nice to have it as kind of a preventative or even just minimize the issue around the rest of the house and stuff. Um, but having that other attachment, I would be curious to see, you know, how it would work like on a, on a couch that's, yeah. you know, um, you know, not leather, right. Something that's got uh, a, a fabric to it that would help pull that, that brush would help pull out. And I bet you, if you put that, uh, vacuum on turbo, <laughs> yeah. it would really suck everything out of there. That would be a huge time saver because, you know, if company's coming over and you quickly yeah. want to just clean up a couple a couple pieces of furniture before they come and stuff, because some people don't have dogs or, or cats that, you know, and they're not used to, I mean, 
the doggy glitter doesn't bother me, right? If I go to somebody's <laughs> house, I'm totally fine with it because I, you know, it's, it's part of, you know, li living with animals and stuff, which I love. Um, but you have some company that comes over and they're not necessarily used to having that, or maybe they're dressed nicely and, you know, you're going out to dinner and you don't want them to sit down before, before you go. And, you know, they stand up and there's hair all over the back of them. So um, I really like having that tool. And even though you said it's, it can be a little awkward because, the, you know, it's, it's plugged in and it's, you know, there's a short uh, hose or whatever the case may be. It is nice to kind of have every, everything all in one place. You just grab it, go plug it in and, you know, quickly clean, uh, clean the house and stuff, which is nice. Um, and we've got a comment from Vicky. So Vicky says, thank you for sharing. We have three dogs. So my vacuum would probably appreciate the help. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it would. I know what it's like, right? Cause that's your, I don't have any kind of de shedding grooming tools at all. I just kind of live with the hair and let my vacuum, my regular vacuum kind of do the trick. Yep. I, I do try to use like blankets and things that don't embed hair in them. So I love quilts. My mother makes quilts and I'm always uh, so grateful for any little throws that she can make because the hair doesn't stick to any of those and you, your dogs can curl up in them and they can throw them in the wash. And there's, it's just super easy to care for in terms of uh, doggy glitter, getting it into yeah. anything. Um, but yeah, if, if, and now that we have another dog, I might be looking to kind of figure out how to better get a handle on, on the, uh, the shedding. Um, so that'll be an interesting adventure for us <laughs> to go, go through. I might be looking into purchasing this as well because um, it does seem like it's good quality. I do like that it's a softer, uh, uh, you know, noise because uh, yeah. I know Ginger is so skittish of everything, um, just getting them. And sometimes you might just need to get them used to just being around it before you even turn it on. Right. So depending yeah. on your dog. So if you've made the investment you know, just acclimate them to having it in the room, having it next to them, you know, maybe using the attachment without it turned on, right? Just so they get used to the feel of being brushed or combed or whatever. Um, and then just, you know, reward them, give them little treats or whatever, you know, pet them, make them happy and, and comfortable and then kind of turn it, slow it on to slowly, you know, at the lowest setting and then kind of go up from there as they get more used to it. That might be some other tips to in, yeah. into using it as well. And for, so for Hazel, the brushing is the reward. So that's yeah. what she's loving. Yeah. So that right. it really is kind of reinforcing that, which that's, that's a, great. that's a per dog dependent, like how right. that's going right. to work out for you. Right. Um, right. One of the other tools that I've been curious, I think my, I think my social media feeds have been trying to influence me. <laughs> they might know that I have dog hair everywhere. <laughs> so, um, I don't have very much carpet in my house, but I do uh, in the upstairs. And so I've seen the rake uh, items. Oh, and yeah. I've yeah. been very curious because I haven't tried them yet. So in the comments, if you guys have tried that, if they've worked for you, what has been your experience with that one? But Right. That's another one where when you were talking about the vacuums, my vacuum, as much as I feel like it's getting everything, when I actually get down on the carpet, I see how much it hasn't got. Right. So, right. It's a right. Powerful vacuum. It really should be able to get this stuff. So right. I'm just trying to find that solution for that, which is why my social media is trying to <laughs> tell me which direction to go. <laughs> <laughs> we may get another review of, of how that one's working uh, if I give that one yeah. a try. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, um, like I said, getting other people's feedback, getting other people's impressions of these, yeah. like it is going to be dog dependent. It's going to be, you know, your lifestyle, your circumstances dependent on right. all of this stuff. But if somebody says like, oh my gosh, this really worked for me, then at least you have the, the okay, I'll give it a try. It may right. not work me but i know it i know it just it works. doesn't it's not terrible for everyone <laughs> so. right you know it works yep. so for, so yeah yeah and and i this one of the things i love about the reviews that we're, we do is um and the feedback that we get on those is that you know we're all learning together right we're all pet parents we're in this there's always new products or new things to try um and sometimes the oldies are the best right and sometimes the new things don't work out well but then who knows sometimes um you know a gadget like what you have um, which is amazing, right? It's, uh, it's crazy that, um, that it works so well. And, and Hazel is so like, yeah. she runs to it. 
when you turn it on. Like, that's crazy to me. Yeah. Um, she, yeah. She just loves, loves seeing it, which is, or having it used, which is fantastic. Like that's what you want. So um, yeah. Any, any tips, insights that anybody can share, we would totally appreciate it. Um, we, I think that's great. Look at her. She's just loving life. Like, oh yeah, over to the left, to the left a little bit more. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, she comes she comes running as soon as you turn it on. That's so that, so funny. that's a pretty ringing endorsement, at least yes. for her in particular. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> that's great. Well, thanks for sharing uh, all your information about this. This is great. And uh, yep. thank you everybody for being with us today. Um, and yeah, if you give it a try, let us know if you know of other tips and tricks for cleaning up all the doggy glitter that's sprinkled around the house, that would be helpful too. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, there's an article with a bunch of other ideas and things in it. You can check that out in the description. There's a link to this particular kit in the description and then our snuffle toy club uh if you're interested in making your own snuffle toy diy yeah. snuffle toys check that out because it's only open our um the availability to sign up is only open until the 15th for this month yep so and we have some really cute it's a week from today a week yep. from today is the 15th so we yeah. have some really, really cute things coming for the holidays. So you won't oh, want to miss out on those toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And the nice thing about the club is you can pause your membership yes. any, anytime. You know, we really we really do everything we can to make it um, you have the most control over um, yeah. your participation in it and stuff. Um, there's a digital version. There's a kit where you can actually get all the goodies sent right to your door. So it's a huge it's time saver. super easy to craft, <laughs> which I love. So anyway. All right. Thanks, all right, everybody. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.